Hello there, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, hey, welcome. Join the fam bam. If this ain't your first rodeo with your girl, welcome back booze and let's go. So from the title, you already know what it is. We getting rid of these foundations. Um, I have about close to 40, I think, I think. And I'm at the point I need to get rid of a lot of these foundations. Now, when I say a lot, um, my goal is five. Like, it's really three, but I'm going I'm to just jump out there and be like, I'm going to get rid of five. And we're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my foundations. So as you can see, I got quite a bit. These are all of them, I believe. If I left some upstairs but yeah i got a nice collection low-end high-end drugstore um and i actually feel like i'm moving away from drugstore foundation the only drugstore foundation i really mess with is the revlon color stay and i guess that's what i'll start with um so yeah we we in this thing we we done opened up the dough we're about to rock it so um yeah, the foundation I have right now is the Revlon Color Stay in Cappuccino. You know what? I'm not even going to tell you what the, um, is there something right there? It looks like it's something on the side of my camera, but you know what? Never mind. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what shade because I put all of my shades down below in the box. But yes, this is Revlon 24-Hour Color Stay Foundation for Combination Oily Bomb. This ain't going nowhere. As you can see, I'm almost done with this one. I've opened this one because I got tired of using this one. But once I get the rest of that little bit that's at the bottom, this will be gone. But Revlon stand. Okay, uh, we have the Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation. Love it, love it, love it. It's staying. We have the Kat Von D Lock It foundation it's staying it's thick than a mug and i only basically use it like spring winter fall because it's really thick love it now this one right here this is the becca aqua luminous perfecting foundation i'm getting rid of this i don't like it first of all i don't like this dropper like i don't i don't like it it's just irritating to me i don't really care for the bottle the packaging sucks which is weird because i normally don't even care about packaging but this makes me care about packaging. The product makes my face look oily. It seeps into all of my like pores, everything. And you can just see everything. You gotta go. The next foundation I have is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the Luminous Foundation. And I have two of these. Um, one is my winter color and one is my, no, one is my kind of winter color and the other is my kind of year round it's crazy but these bad boys both stand i've done um reviews on them and i might attach them if i get a chance but yeah they stand the next thing i have which i have two of these as well is the kat von d um true portrait liquid to powder foundation i love these boo-boos the finish is on point oh my gosh this is like becoming top three Staying. This is my only powder foundation. No, I take that back up. Oh, I left my Marc Jacobs foundation upstairs. It's a powder. Well, it's just gonna stay because I love that one anyways. But this is the Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation. And I'm still learning how to use this. So I didn't seen it on like Andrea Renee's page, um, Felene, like all of them. And they were like, you know, hey, let me give this a whirl because I just, I don't know. I've tried powder foundation before. Um, I tried MAC and that one worked pretty good. And But that was like 10 years ago. So I wanna try another powder foundation and see what works. But so far, this works really good. So I'm gonna keep it. The next one we have, <laughs> y'all know this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation ain't going nowhere. Y'all know this is bang. This is my favorite foundation outside of the Revlon Color Stay. Those are neck and neck for number one. So she's staying. Another one that I have two of, y'all, it's a long story, is the Milk Makeup Blurred Liquid Foundation. These aren't my favorite, but I mess with them, so I'm going to keep both of them. They're in different, if whenever you see me with two, they're in different shades. So, but yeah, I mess with it. I'm going to keep it. 
This is my Ulta Demi Matte Foundation. Um, yeah, it's too cakey. I mean, like, I do like the finish, but it's too cakey. Like, it looks like I have makeup on. And sometimes I don't want to look like I have my makeup on. I can't mess with it. This ain't one of those that blew me away either, so it's gone. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Walnut. And actually, I don't use this as a foundation. I use this as a um, contour. So whenever I need to just warm up my face, this is what I use. So this isn't going anywhere because it is not my shade. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Um, this isn't the best shade for me. You know, that's a four shade fine to be messing people up. But I'm going to keep it and I'm going to just keep going with it until it's gone. And then I'm going to, I'm eventually going to buy another shade that I think fits me better. But the foundation in general, I love it. It's a little thick, but I love it. Um, this is the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. I love this. Like, I really, really love this. I ended up finding this on clearance at Ulta for like five bucks. It retails at like $36. Love, love, love it. This is the YSL All Hours Foundation. I really like this foundation. It looks really good on my skin. I love the finish. I ain't getting rid of YSL. This is my Beauty Blender Bounce Longwear Whip Foundation. Y'all, when I tell y'all I wasn't feeling this at first and then I started feeling it, Yes, this was one of those situations. That's why for my foundations, I don't go off the first impression. I have to use it for a couple of weeks and then I'll be like, I love this stuff. Or I'll be like, yep, you gotta go. This is staying. And I caught it on, uh, it was like 20 bucks at Sephora. It was on sale. You know how they be having those specials. I caught up a whole lot of foundations when they be having them on sale. Don't sleep on Sephora. Um, this is another NARS, and this is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I love it. I didn't love, and this is one of those foundations. It took me a while to love it. I love it. I'm keeping it. I'm going to keep wearing this. This is the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick in the color Teak. And I'm getting rid of this only because it's old. Like, I'm just looking at how it looks. Ooh, and it got that old smell. That's the reason I'm getting rid of this, but I'm going to end up buying another one because they're on sale for eight bucks. So I'm going to end up buying another one and I'm just tossing it. Don't be putting that old stuff on y'all face. This is my Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Um, this costs a grip. Do I love it? No. Does it work? Yes. So I'm going to keep it. Like my first impressions of this was pretty cool, but then the more I started wearing it, the more I was like, yeah. For almost 70 bucks, you let me down. But I'm going to use you up, and I'm never going to buy you again. This is an oldie but goodie. I'm almost done with this bottle, y'all. Actually, I got two. I got two MAC foundations. One, I don't know why. Every time I go to MAC, they give me a different shade, but they both work. I don't know how that works. I'm going to keep them both. They're both almost done. This one looks full only because this is what I used on my face today. And it always serve. It always give me what I need. So I'm keeping them. Once they're done, I don't know if I'm going to invest in MAC again because I have so many other foundations that I love. I don't think I need any more foundation for a long time. This is the Marc Jacobs Shameless. Ooh, let me shake that up. It was separating. Youthful Look 24-Hour Foundation. I do like this. Um, it does look a bit cakey from time to time, but I'm keeping her. I'm keeping her. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I love it. I'm keeping it. This is NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Um, is it my favorite NARS? No, it's probably out of my NARS collection of foundations. This is the lowest on the totem pole. But it does have a nice um, finish. It's very light and airy, so that's why I'm keeping it. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, y'all. I love this foundation. I just tried it out um, a couple of days ago. I've used it twice. Yeah, I've had it for a while. I did a review on it. I'll attach it. I'm really digging it though. So yes, this is staying. This is like a full bottle. Only been used twice. It's staying in the collection. Now this is an OG right here. I had to repurchase it when it was on clearance at um, Sephora. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Like. Frosted bottle, classy, 
top notch as usual nothing less than i expect from mark jacobs love her she, she a little bit cakey so you got to be kind of light with her or she gonna have you caked up for real and i don't mean in the booty like ain't the pockets either because your pockets gonna be light messing around with her but i'm telling you the finish on this bad boy she always staying this is the stila aqua glow serum foundation y'all they don't make this no more this is a very nice foundation. When you just want to do some basic stuff, this will have you out here glowing, looking like you just, whoo, sun-kissed. Yes. I, at first, I did not like it. It's really thin and skin-like, but it's bae. Like, she's staying. She's safe. Okay, here we go with an oldie but goodie as well. The Lancome Tint E Doll Ultra Wear. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty on the top, whatever. But she's staying. Like, she a little bit cakey, too. Y'all probably looking like, that don't look like your skin complexion. It don't, but it worked for me. I don't know how. It worked for me. It's beautiful. She's staying. This is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Mocha. This is a really good foundation. This is probably the only foundation that I mess with that's drugstore outside of um, um, the Revlon. But I'm getting rid of this one because it's too red. It, it turns me red. Like, it'll go on, look nice. Next thing you know, it'll oxidize. And some hours later, you're looking red than a mug. No. So, I have the other one, which is funny, which is the Espresso. Which is funny because this one looks more yellow and this one looks more red. But this Espresso works better than the Mocha. So, Mocha got to go. Espresso, I'm keeping you, boo. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Foundation. Bomb. Love her. She's thick, but again, this is one that I only use during the spring, winter, and fall. I'm not messing around with you during the summer because you're going to have me out here just like that. No, nah, but she's staying. Y'all, I can't believe I've been getting rid of some stuff. I already got rid of four. Yes. Uh, here goes something I'm getting rid of right now, which is the... Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation, y'all, and it just separated. Y'all hear that? I don't like that. But I'm getting rid of her because she is not my skin tone. Like, I'm not about to lighten you up. I'm not finna play no games. I, it's 2021. If you don't fit my skin tone, you gotta go. Like, I'm so mad I can't return it because I waited too long, but it gotta go. So, you ain't gonna have me out here looking like a burnt graham cracker. No. All right, um, and here's Sephora Best Skin Ever. I don't know if I even did a review on this. So you know what? I'm not going to review it right now because I want to save it for later. But I am keeping it. This is probably the newest foundation I have in my collection. I'm keeping it. You will have a review coming up soon. Now, for my final item, which is the Ebony Stick Foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And... Yeah, you smell kind of old. I'm getting rid of you too. Yeah, it's 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 been real, you know what I'm saying? But it's not really my color, first of all. And second of all, it hasn't, it's lost its way with me. Like I used to love it and now I'm just like, mm, yeah, you all right, but you don't do what I need you to do. So I'm gonna let you roll out but um yeah this this ain't that so you gotta go all right let's see how many that i got rid of one two three four five six y'all i exceeded my goal so we getting rid of the becca aqua luminous perfecting foundation she just be having me looking too too jacked up you gotta go um, the Ulta Demi Matte Foundation, cakey. The Sephora Make No Mistake, just old. You fit me, you just old. Um, the Wet n Wow Photo Focus Foundation and Mocha, wrong color. Be having me out here red in the mug. Then we got ABH and Ebony. Mmm, you're old and I'm not feeling you. And then we got the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. Yeah, you out of there. Oh, we got six out the way, which leaves me with 
I don't even want to count it. I'm going to just put the number on the screen because that's going to take me a long time to count. But I want to thank y'all for watching this whole situation go down. Supporting my channel. Coming back every time I'm dropping videos. Supporting your girl. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Be well.